let's say that you've got a bag and in that bag you put a bunch of marbles so let's say you put 50 of these magenta marbles so one two three four five six seven I'm not going to draw all of them but you get the general idea there are going to be 50 magenta marbles 15 magenta marbles and there's also going to be 50 blue marbles so 50 50 blue marbles and what you do is you you have these 100 marbles in there half of them magenta half of them blue and before picking a marble out and you're going to be blindfolded when you pick a marble out uh, you shake the bag you shake the bag really good to to uh, so you think mix them up a little bit and so if you were to say well theoretically what is the probability well, if you stuck your hand in and you're not looking what is the probability of picking of picking a magenta I have to feel the need to write the word magenta in magenta what is the probability of picking a magenta marble well theoretically there's a hundred equally likely possibilities there's a hundred marbles in the bag and 50 of them involve picking a magenta so 50 out of a hundred when this is the same thing as a one-half probability so you could say well theoretically there is a one-half probability I just did the math if you say these are 100 equally likely possibilities 50 of them are picking magenta now let's say you actually start doing the experiment so you literally take a bag with 50 magenta marbles 50 blue marbles and then you start picking you start picking uh, the marbles and then you see what marble color you picked and you put it back in and then you do it again and so let's say that after let's say that after look every time you you put your hand in the bag and you take something out of the out of the bag and you observe what it is we're going to call that an experiment so after after 10 experiments 10 experiments after 10 experiments let's say that you have picked out seven magenta seven magenta and three blue and three blue so does this cause is this is this strange that after 10 out of the first 10 experiments you haven't picked out exactly half of them being magenta you've picked out seven magenta and then the other three were blue well no this is definitely a reasonable thing if the true probability of picking out a magenta is one half it's definitely possible that you could still pick out seven magenta did that just happen to be what your fingers touched and this isn't a lot of experiments it's completely reasonable that out of 10 yeah you could have a, 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 a and, and you know there we later on in statistics we can we'll define these things in, in 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 more detail but there's enough variation in where you might pick that you're not going to always get especially with only 10 experiments you're, you're not definitely going to get exactly one half you can you, you know instead of having five magenta it's completely reasonable to have seven magenta so this really wouldn't cause me a lot of pause I still wouldn't say hey I, I still wouldn't question what I did here when I calculated this theoretical probability but let's say and you let's say you have a lot of time on your hands and let's say after let's say after 10,000 trials here after 10,000 experiments and remember the experiment you're sticking your hand in the bag without looking with your fingers kind of feeling around picks out a marble and you observe the marble and you record what you found and so let's say after 10,000 experiments you get 7,000 7,000 magenta actually let me do slightly different numbers so let me make it even more extreme let's say you get 8,000 8,000 magenta and you have 2,000 blue 2,000 2,000 blue now this is interesting because here you're what you're what you're seeing experimentally seems to be very different and now you have a large number of trials right over here not just 10 10 it's completely reasonable that hey you know I got seven magenta and three blue instead of five and five but now you've done 10,000 10,000 is definitely you know you would have expected if this was the true probability you would have expected that half of these would have been magenta only 5,000 magenta and 5,000 blue but you had 8,000 magenta now this is within the realm of possibility if the true probability of picking a magenta is one half but it's not it's very unlikely that you would have gotten this result with this many experiments this many trials if the true probability is one half here your experimental probability 
your experimental probability is showing, look, out of, out of 10,000 trials, actually, let me write that here, experimental probability. Experimental probability here is you had 10,000 trials, and, or 10,000 experiments, I guess you could say, and, you, and in 8,000 of them, you got a magenta marble. And so this is going to be 80% or 8 tenths, so 80%. So there seems to be a difference here. And the reason why I would take this more seriously is that you had a lot of trials here. You did this 10,000 times. If the true probability was 1 half, it's very low likelihood that you would have gotten this many magenta. So when you think about it, you're like, look, well, what did I, what, what's going on here? What are possible explanations for this? This I wouldn't have fretted about. After 10 experiments, not a big deal. But after 10,000, this would have caused me pause. You say, well, why would this happen? I mixed up the bag every time. And there are some different possibilities. Maybe the blue marbles are slightly heavier. And so when you shake the bag up enough, the blue marbles settle to the bottom and you're more likely to put, pick a magenta marble. Maybe the blue marbles have a slightly different texture to them, in which case uh, maybe they, they slip out of your hands or they're, they're less likely to be gripped on, and so you're more likely to pick a magenta. So I don't know the explanation. I don't know what's going on in that bag, but if, if I thought theoretically that the probability should be one half, because half of the marbles are magenta, but I'm seeing it through my experiments that 80% of what I'm picking out, especially if I did 10,000 of it, if I did this 10,000 times, well, this is, this is going to cause me some pause. I would really start to think about whether I, it's truly equally likely for me to pick out a red, a, a magenta versus a blue. Something else must be going on. Let's say that you've got a bag, and in that bag you put a bunch of marbles. So let's say you put 50 of these magenta marbles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not gonna draw all of them, but you get the general idea. There are going to be 50 magenta marbles, 15 magenta marbles, and there's also going to be 50 blue marbles. So 50, 50 blue marbles. And what you do is you, you have these 100 marbles in there, half of them magenta, half of them blue, and before picking a marble out, and you're going to be blindfolded when you pick a marble out, uh, you shake the bag. You shake the bag really good to, to uh, so you think, mix them up a little bit. And so if you were to say, well, theoretically, what is the probability, well, if you stuck your hand in and you're not looking, what is the probability of picking, of picking a magenta? I have to feel the need to write the word magenta in magenta. What is the probability of picking a magenta marble? Well, Theoretically, there's 100 equally likely possibilities. There's 100 marbles in the bag. And 50 of them involve picking a magenta. So 50 out of 100, and this is the same thing as a 1 half probability. So you could say, well, theoretically, there is a 1 half probability. I just did the math. If you say these are 100 equally likely possibilities, 50 of them are picking magenta. Now let's say you actually start doing the experiment. So you literally take a bag with 50 magenta marbles, 50 blue marbles, and then you start picking. You start picking uh, the marbles, and then you see what marble color you picked, and you put it back in, and then you do it again. And so let's say that after, let's say that after, look, every time you, you put your hand in the bag and you take something out of, the, out of the bag and you observe what it is, we're gonna call that an experiment. So after, after 10 experiments, 10 experiments, after 10 experiments, let's say that you have picked out seven magenta, seven magenta, and three blue, and three blue. So does this cause, is this, is this strange that after 10, out of the first 10 experiments, you haven't picked out exactly half of them being magenta, you've picked out seven magenta, and then the other three were blue. 
Well, no, this is definitely a reasonable thing. If the true probability of picking out a magenta is one half, it's definitely possible that you could still pick out seven magenta. Did that just happen to be what your fingers touched? And this isn't a lot of experiments. It's completely reasonable that out of 10, yeah, you could have a, 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 a and, and you know, there, we, later on in statistics, we can, we'll define these things in, 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 in more detail. But there's enough variation in where you might pick that you're not going to always get, especially with only 10 experiments, you're, you're not definitely going to get exactly one half. You can, you, you know, instead of having five magenta, it's completely reasonable to have seven magenta. So this really wouldn't cause me a lot of pause. I still wouldn't say, hey, I, I still wouldn't question what I did here when I calculated this theoretical probability. But let's say, and you, let's say you have a lot of time on your hands, and let's say after, let's say after 10,000 trials here, after 10,000, experiments. And remember, the experiment, you're sticking your hand in the bag without looking, with your fingers kind of feeling around, picks out a marble, and you observe the marble and you record what you found. And so let's say after 10,000 experiments, you get 7,000, 7,000 magenta. Actually, let me do slightly different numbers. So let me make it even more extreme. Let's say you get 8,000, 8,000 magenta and you have 2,000 blue, 2,000, 2,000 blue. Now this is interesting because here you're, what, you're, what you're seeing experimentally seems to be very different. And now you have a large number of trials right over here, not just 10. 10 is completely reasonable that, that, hey, you know, I got seven magenta and three blue instead of five and five. But now you've done 10,000. 10,000, it's definitely, you know, you would have expected, if this was the true probability, you would have expected that half of these would have been magenta. Only 5,000 magenta and 5,000 blue, but you had 8,000 magenta. Now this is within the realm of possibility if the true probability of picking a magenta is one half, but it's not, it's very unlikely that you would have gotten this result with this many experiments, this many trials, if the true probability is one half. Here your experimental probability your experimental probability is showing, look, out of, out of 10,000 trials, actually, let me write that here, experimental probability. Experimental probability here is you had 10,000 trials, 